All right, so Kyle Trask. Now, you know, if you guys have followed this channel, uh, you know that I am a Buccaneers fan, and I was not a fan of Kyle Trask. I said I just straight up wouldn't draft him. I, you know, let someone else draft him. There's no way I would be the one who ends up drafting him, so I wouldn't even worry about him because uh, there's a lot of issues, and I've talked to those to death. However, you know, I missed the preseason game live. Usually I catch them after the fact because I'm busy with, you know, uh, usually the uh, first round quarterbacks making videos for those when the Buccaneers games had been airing. And I looked up and saw that Kyle Trask numbers were amazing. I mean, 12 for 14, 146 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. Oh my God, Kyle Trask must have put it all together. This is his coming out party. No, uh, <laughs> that's just not what happened. Uh, it was very much I didn't think he was bad, but it was very much a going up against the Texans third stringers game. Uh, and we'll get into the film to talk more about that. Uh, and I even, you know, I double checked with pro football focus. Like, am I crazy? They they kind of agreed with me. They have these, you know, their grades were, uh, he, they actually had this as lower than uh, I believe the last two games, which does check out to me. So like, we'll start off with something like this, because this is a good example of kind of talking about, yes, I know his box score stats were fantastic. But the reality is box store stats, they just, they just don't mean that much. And they especially don't mean that much when we're talking about a preseason game where it's a small sample size. I mean, in 14 passes, you just can't look at a, a box score, really. I mean, sometimes, you know, a lot of times it will be accurate. But I feel like with that small of a sample size, just as many times it won't be accurate as to how well you actually played. Like on a play like this, it's a cover three zone. And this is going to be a go route right here. So... You know, on paper, you could consider making this throw, right? Single safety deep. I don't hate this decision pre-snap at all. It's going to be the post-snap decision. I mean, look, immediately, Trask should not be throwing this ball. And in fairness, he's looking away, so he doesn't see this. But still, he's eventually going to look over there. You see how the corner is bailing immediately? This should just let you know right off the bat this is not a throw you want to make. And I think that Trask is trying to look off the safety so that way he can get a better opportunity, which is fine. But at a certain point, he is going to look over there. I just I have to highlight it now because it's still on screen right now. He's going to look over there just a beat later, and then it'll be off screen. But like as you see, he looks over there, and he decides to make this throw anyways. And I just don't understand that. And I, you know, I'll pause it right here. This probably should have been intercepted. If this is against you know a team's first uh, string players who aren't the Texans, this is an interception right here. Granted, uh, if Mike Evans is up there, maybe he still makes the catch. But to me, that says more about Evans than it does about Trask, which again, uh, to some degree, when you're playing for Tampa Bay, that works. But this is, this is definitely a mistake and a throw he shouldn't have made. And that's okay. I'm not highlighting this to make it seem like Trask is a horrible idiot. Uh, I'm just saying he did make a mistake. There were some errors in this game, along with some positives. And we can talk about the positives, too, for sure. Like, something like this is a great example where it's going to be zone coverage. It's a cover three zone. And the route he wants to throw to is going to be an out route, which this can work. You have to be very cautious with it, though, because if you take this chance... Uh, it can result in turnovers. So you have to be careful. And Trask, to his credit, is going to do exactly that. Look, he takes the snap. He looks over there. And immediately, it's not a good decision to make this throw. I mean, the, the defensive player for Houston could break underneath and you know jump the route. You also have another player you know, uh, who is covering the middle of the field backing up. So Trask, alertly, is not going to make this decision and not going to make this throw. And one thing I've been really impressed with from Trask that I saw some in Florida, I thought that his pocket presence was underrated just because he doesn't run a fast 40 time, which I don't care about as much for a quarterback. It's more about how well do you navigate the pocket. The reality is uh, way more often when you're under pressure, the way you make it, the play still work is by you know footwork as opposed to speed. And Trask has done a great job at sort of extending plays and making things happen with his legs. Watch him sidestep a defender, and then he's going to scramble a little bit and make an off-bounce throw, and they pick up a good amount of yards right there. I mean, that's a, a really good play by Kyle Trask, and he's been doing that consistently. I, I love seeing stuff like that. Uh, and it, it looks better in college. Or, excuse me. It looks better in the NFL than it has in college, quite frankly. I also should have mentioned the reason why this looks all weird is because this was during one of those player interviews, which I hate that they do. I'd much rather just, you know, let me see the game. Uh, but that's why there's that, you know, I had to zoom it in 
zoom in a little bit more to the actual place. So that's why it looks all weird. Now, I gotta talk about, I just wanna, so let me be clear on what I'm doing right here. With like, So I could play like this, it's uh, cover three zone, there's a receiver running a route over the middle, and I wanna be exactly clear in why I'm being a bit harsh on Kyle Trask. For one thing, I fully realize that there's plenty of people, even people on this platform, that would have much rather just, you know, they, they would have just said, oh no, Trask is playing well, he's doing good stuff, just so that way you don't get the criticism. I just don't have it in my heart to do that. If I don't think he played well, I'm going to say he didn't play well. And I'm not even saying he didn't play well, it's just that he was fine, he was okay, he was not as good as his numbers would show, that's all I'm saying. But also, I'm just trying to explain exactly what went wrong on a lot of these plays and what, what his performance actually was. What did you actually see? Uh, and a play like this, where it's a cover three zone, you have a receiver running over the middle, this is going to be a good example of the good and bad you get with Kyle Trask. There's good and bad with him. So first, he takes the snap, and he alertly looks up, and you know he almost throws this, but then realizes, eh, probably shouldn't make this throw. Looks like he's even thinking about the check down to his left, decides not to do that. Uh, he's instead going to throw it to a different player, the one who I've circled, which makes sense. All of this is great stuff, and this is why Bruce Arians and the Buccaneers drafted Kyle Trask. It's because he can do this stuff. The issue is going to be this throw. I mean, look, he just misses a completely wide open uh, throw right there, but to me, I'm going to show this a few times, so hopefully you won't get dizzy, but there's a specific reason why I'm bringing this play up. It's not just a missed throw. Everyone misses throws, although this one is a bit bad. It's the fact that he had to hurry up his throwing motion to make this throw. And that's something that, you know, someone like Brady, who has such a quick motion, he never has to do that. Someone like Trask, whose motion takes an hour, he's going to have to do this. And that results in, you know, inconsistencies in arm strength. It results in inconsistencies in accuracy. It's a massive issue. And I don't see how you get around that. Honestly, on a play like this, this is a lot of what Trask did that worked out for Tampa Bay is it was stuff like this, where I believe this is supposed to be a cover one man play, but the reason why I have to say I believe as opposed to I know is it's going to be a blown coverage. I mean, look, so you're going to see that a tight end is just completely wide open right here. This is not a great Kyle Trask play. This is a bad Houston Texans play, and I saw a lot of this. And so I'm sorry, I know Buccaneers fans want to be excited, but this is what I saw to a large degree. I mean, look, it's just a, it's a good throw. And I mean, it's not a bad throw. Like again, he wasn't bad. I'm not trying to say he was bad, but have I changed my opinion on him? No, I haven't. The issues I had with him are still issues. There's a reason he went with the 64th overall pick and there's issues that you that I have with him just because he's now behind Brady doesn't now mean that he's going to instantly become a great quarterback and I would still feel much more comfortable with Blaine Gabbert in than I would with Kyle Trask to me he is a true quarterback three uh, and I just I don't feel comfortable with Kyle Trask as my starting quarterback now now, if we want to talk about, you know, for the future, can he be an okay player? Maybe. I mean, I guess let's pull back a second and let's say, forget him being a starter. Can he be like a, a competent player? Can he become a player who has value? I think so. I think I, from that perspective, I certainly saw enough to say, okay, yeah, maybe he could. Uh, but there's just too many issues there that people are, I feel like, ignoring because he had a good stat line. Uh, again, I, I look on the Buccaneers subreddit a good amount. And people are like going crazy over how good he was. And, and I don't I don't want to, you know, rain on their parade. So I won't post this video there, you know, uh, because I don't want them to be up. You know, I don't want them. I don't want to get into a fight and I don't want them to see my point and say, oh, now I feel bad. Uh, the excitement is fun. And I get that. I, I just I did not. Uh, I just I didn't see good stuff from Kyle Trask for the most part. I saw him make a lot of throws that he should make and him make some dumb decisions. That's that's what I saw, quite frankly. So yeah, I mean, this video got way more negative as it went on. I didn't make this video expecting to get this harsh towards the end, uh, but I, I just, you know, I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a feeling Buccaneers fans didn't, but that's fine. Uh, I've already pissed off enough fan bases. What's, what's my own, uh, the one that I'm a part of, why not? Uh, but yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know 
in the comments below. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Do you think I'm being way too harsh on him? Uh, I always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.